Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much for being so lovely and just, you know, going with the flow, just like I've been going with the flow. Um, this is your June reading, 1st of June till the 15th, even though they're a little bit late. Um, I did explain that in my previous videos. Um, there's a reason behind everything that happens, so I believe that we need to go with the flow, and that's what I'm doing. Now, I've got something to announce today that I'm starting my Vimeo videos. So, I'm going to be doing very quick readings for YouTube. A lot of people do like the quick readings. Uh, they don't want to be on, you know, each video for half an hour. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a brief overview of what your reading is about for those of you that are interested in seeing the rest of the video where I pull more cards I'll be using this Vila's as well right in the Vimeo readings they will not be expensive the videos they will be quite cheap in comparison to other people and what they charge I will have a different price for each video on its own and a price for all the 12 zodiac signs because many of you may want to watch your sun moon and rising and you want to see the outcome of the reading i also will be pulling a romance angel okay for love and i will be also taking three lenormand cards right so i am using the rider weight the alba I should say the Albano, <laughs> the Albano weight, sorry, the Albano weight tarot, which is one of my favorite decks. It's so easy to use. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm also using the La Vera Sibila, which I usually use. All right? Let's see, where's that packet? There it is. Okay, the La Vera Sibila's. That I use every single month and also I will be using as I said Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels right here it is Romance Angels there we are and also the Gilded Reverie Lenormand the expanded edition which I absolutely adore so they're going to be up on Vimeo as I said, the rest of the reading is going to be up on Vimeo for those of you that want extended readings. So I'm looking forward to working with you um, and, you know, help. this is really helping me because I'm getting the readings up sooner and I'm actually thinking of starting to do weeklies. So let's see how we go. Um, I think that's all. I'd like to go into the astrology side now, so for those of you that want only tarot, I will put the link in the description box below where the tarot starts, okay? Just quickly in the astrology, right, for the month of June, we've got a new moon in the sign of Gemini on the 13th of the month, so this brings a fresh start uh, in our lives, you know, chatterboxy Geminis, all about information, they're ruled by um, Mercury. So it's very positive energy and we, through curiosity, we learn through others, right, by asking questions. So we, we're going to improve our social and communication um, sectors in anything to do with, you know, what's Gemini, it's the third house, uh, siblings, neighbours, and um, it's all about communication, it's all about, of course, um, Gemini is also about learning, anything to do with study. Okay, so we're going to be opening up our minds for more information. Now, we've also got Neptune beginning its retrograde on the 18th. Oh my God, so there's like a veil, rose-colored glasses being put on us, okay, and anything to do with our practical affairs. Um, there's a sort of... Um, we're, we're trying to realign with anything to do with our wishes, okay, and what's inside of us. Any planet that goes retrograde, it, we're supposed to turn inwards, 
okay and it's it's going to last until the 24th of November so it's a period of you know being in t turning inwards being recep receptive that's what happens when the planets are retrograde so receptiveness and again as I said wearing rose-colored glasses so <laughs> murky murky energy so we've we might feel like we're stagnant that's what happens with retrograde planets we're gonna have to be patient um, but it's also it's got a lot to do with discovering what's on the inside of us right now Mars turns retrograde on the 26th and it's gonna be retro until August 27 okay now again another retrograde planet so reassessing redoing projects um, trying to do anything that we can so we can get what we want what is Mars it's our passion it's our drive forward right so there's strong energy with Mars but do know that with the retrograde motion we can get a bit passive aggressive right um, mm. so and we could also be beginning problems instead of looking at the problems at hand okay so um, it's a good time to learn retrogrades are always time of taking time out and looking within ourselves with anything to do with what the planet is about okay and it's also the good thing about it is that we can do go over things and redo things things that need fixing anything that needs fixing anything that is old we can look at it again okay now the full moon is going to be in the sign of Capricorn on the 28th okay so what is Capricorn Capricorn is our um, 10th house it's all about career it's all about work it's all about um, putting in the hard work Saturn is there right don't forget that Saturn says that you've got to stand in your integrity put in the hard yakka and then you can reap the rewards so now um, Capricorn is also deals with lots of commitments what we've what what we're committed to doing right we've got Capricorn on one side of the horoscope and then cancers on the opposite sign cancer is the the house of home family okay so we're trying to find a balance but with full moons we know that there's a culmination so what is telling us that we can't ignore what commitments we are we have to home and not and just concentrate on work right so we have to find the fine balance of that um, those two houses let's say the tenth house and the fourth house of home and family okay so we're going to have to be mature we're going to have to act like Saturn like be the authority figure and things will come to light okay that's what happens with full moons whatever we started six months ago is going to be culminating on the 28th of the month okay so that would have been yeah exactly six months ago when the when the new moon would have taken place in in um, in Capricorn right okay so we always know just for those of you that are more into astrology um, that when there is a new moon in a certain sign six months later we're going to have the full moon of what begun in that new moon in the same sign <laughs> I hope you get what I mean okay all right people I'm going to start with your readings now as I said thank you so much for taking the time out to listen to this introduction and I will be um, giving more than less in the future so thank you so much and I will be back mid-month for the rest of your reading for June right for the second part of June 15th till the 30th of June okay hello Aquarius welcome to Divine Debut this is Kathy speaking okay thank you for being here just so you know for those of you I'm going to be doing a quick reading for those of you who want to go on to Vimeo for more cards way more cards 
just know that the uh, link will be in the description box below it will take you straight on to the Vimeo reading thank you thank you Aquarius for being here let's look at Aquarius for the first to the 15th of June 2018 love in general Okay, so in the now position, the Two of Swords, your challenge card is the Tower. This is your energy, Aquarius. In the distant past, we've got the Moon. In the recent past, we have the Two of Cups. Crowning your reading is the Page of Swords. I'm not doing reversals this month. In the near future, we've got the Nine of Cups. In the position of you is the Six of Cups. What is external to you is the Empress. That's in your environment. <clears throat> Let me just move these up a bit. And then we've got, in your hopes and fears, we've got the Five of Pentacles. I just can't find the proper place for my candle. It's just in the way. Okay. And the outcome card is the Nine of Pentacles. Now, at the bottom of the deck is the Fool. Wow. 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 New journey. New journey, dear Aquarius. Let's just have a look at what's underneath. Well, we've got the Judgment, and we've got the King of Cups, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever Jupiter is doing in Scorpio is going to make you very emotional. There's going to be some sort of a judgment calling, right? And you're going to begin a new, um, a new journey. But you're in two minds about it. You're in two minds about it. And, okay, so I believe that even though you are not showing up as an air sign, Aquarius, I believe that this is your energy. For others of you, this is going to be a water sign, like Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, but this could be your moon or your rising sign as well. Now, we do have the energy of Scorpio here, so Scorpio could be it. Could be your moon or your rising, or Pisces, you might even be dealing with a Piscean or a Cancerian person because we've got the card of Pisces here. <clears throat> judgment calling is rising up from your ashes. You're going through judgment time. Okay, it's time. It's, I don't know, it's as though I feel as though the wheel comes to a point where just like when you hear the, you know, the poker machines, you hear that uh, the coin drops inside, smack bang, the jackpot is there. The jackpot is here for you. Um, so what can that mean for you? I just pictured a jackpot machine, you guys. So I feel as though that's the judgment time. And we do have amazing cards, like you've got the tower card here. This is your challenge position. Now the two of swords is being in two minds, having to make a decision. Your challenge is to break down what does not work for you. What does not work for you needs to come down. And this is your energy. You are ruled by uh, Uranus, right? So maybe this, with Uranus moving into Taurus, you are now in two minds about what you truly value in your life. You look as though you're on a brand new journey, okay? You're on a roll, Aquarius. So, in the distant past, we've got the moon card. This is a card of fears, intuition, not having the knowledge, right? Things being dark and hidden. Not knowing, being in the dark. In the recent past, we've got the two of cups. So, the two of cups is usually two people being on the same page. 
um, two people that are celebrating a relationship, a mutual contract. It could also be just friendship for some of you, right? It could mean, you, this could mean that you are partnering up at work. Work is going great. You've got a mutual agreement, but still you're in two minds. Now, why are you having doubts? Because there is lack of clarity. Maybe with a page of swords crowning your reading, you want to speak. Well, speak up, Aquarius. Speak your truth. Speak up. This is your energy. Now, some of you may be dealing with a adolescent, someone who is younger, a child, a student, someone who, <clears throat> sorry, is very blunt. And again, this could be your energy, being very blunt but standing in your truth. And this could be a message that comes in that's going to make you speak your truth. Whatever it is, the tower here being the challenge says it's as though it's saying come on you're being challenged to speak your mind in the near future we've got we've got the card of the wish the wishes coming true how many wishes do you have dear Aquarius this is a nine it's one before the ten so you look quite smug, you look quite happy, you look as though something has worked for you, something is good for you. Um, so whatever you speak of and whatever the tower breaks down is going to make you feel in this energy. You're moving into this sort of energy and it's a nine. Now nine is the house natural home of Sagittarius. Nine is foreign places, foreign people, people at a distance. It's also spirituality. It's also being a free spirit. It's also um, higher education, right? The divine for others of you. Well, in the extended uh, Vimeo readings, of course, I'm going to take more cards, especially for this one here. I want to see what that is. What is the tower? What's this partnership? Whatever it is, you guys, you are hopefully not taken as for a fool, but you are blindly beginning a new journey. You've come to the point of overboil, whatever that means for you, and you are moving, you are jiggling, you are on the move. You've got the jitters, you're moving, I can see you, I can see you, you're ready to go. So the advice here is, Speak up and then go. So in the uh, position of you, this is the card of the Six of Cups, which could speak of children, reminiscing, looking back to your past, someone from your past is on your mind, someone is, and I'm not reading reversal, so I don't know if this is in the reverse, but I feel as though this is dealing with children, anything to do with childlike behavior, child, um, children's energy, innocence and it does um, bring to light the way it used to be the the uh, the phrase comes to mind to me the way it used to be so looking back over your past that's what I feel with this card now in your environment position you have the Empress and the Empress is a number three Usually when she's in the upright, she's very expansive. She gives. She's the mother of earth. This could be a female in your life, which you see as someone who's very loving, nurturing, and giving. Now, as I said, I don't know if she's reversed or upright. With a card that is on top, and with the energy of being as an individual, standing alone, standing on your own, being very independent, I would say that the Empress, for, for a lot of you, could be in the reverse. So someone is not giving back, I feel, here. For some of you, this could be a mother figure. This could be your partner who's had children. This can be a literal child coming in or not coming in. For some of you, knock on wood, I hope that this is not a miscarriage because we've got the tower here. 
Okay, uh, the Empress can be an energy and she can be a person as well. Now this is Aries, Taurus, um, Libra. Okay, energy is here. And then in your hopes and fears, we've got the Five of Pentacles, two people feeling left out in the cold. Again, this is a card of spirituality, feeling as though you are left out. You are not on the same page spiritually. You're both growing, usually. Usually these two people have got a support system, but they don't know it. And they feel alone. They feel lonely. Loneliness is what I feel here. But fives are always something coming in to bring change. So what is coming in to bring change? Are you just throwing yourself into work because this is the card after the Eight of Pentacles? But this is you, you're standing alone. Financially, you're pretty good. And this could be Virgo energy as well because this I see this card as Virgo always. Some of you may be involved with a Virgo. It could be Sun, Moon or Rising. Um... Maybe you're feeling left out from a Virgo. And, you know, Virgo could be in your natal chart. It could be your moon or your rising sign as well. Because in the external, we, we have, as I said, Aries, Taurus, Libra. And that, they're the signs for me, for the Empress, right? But we've, um, we've also got some cups here, right? We've got watery energy as well. And as I said, I mentioned already Scorpio. And uh, we do have the Knight of Pentacles here stopped in his tracks. So that's another Earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean energy for Aquarius, I would say. Now, something is coming in suddenly that's going to make your wish come true. As I said, the ninth house is the house of Sagittarius. That could be speaking as well. Here we've got the Empress, which is a three. So it could be in the time of Gemini. Gemini is the third house in the natural zodiac. And, um, you know, many, many messages here, you guys. So there was some sort of agreement in the recent past but then the challenge is to make a choice make a choice so is it what your heart loves and uh, you know leo's just come to mind right now what your what your heart truly loves um versus what is the right thing to do what your heart loves and what you want to do i think Aqu Dear Aquarius, let's not forget that the North Node and South Node are in Leo and Aquarius. Um, so on the, we are practically moving into the energies of the next eclipses. Now on the 13th of July, we do have a um, new moon solar eclipse in Cancer, right? So everyone's affected in the house of Cancer and Capricorn, which is home and work. But we've also got the full moon lunar eclipse in your sign at 4, 4 degrees and 45 minutes of Aquarius. So a lot of you are going to be affected firsthand, right? And that is on the 28th, sorry. That is at the end, the 28th of July. So there are massive changes coming in. You're being still very strongly affected, okay, because the eclipse will be hitting whatever you have in Aquarius, around four degrees, five degrees, and even, you know, up or down, give or take. So I think that's what's happening with you. That's the choice that you're wanting to make, dear Aquarius. Now, I would like to thank you for being here. For those of you that do want to go on to the Vimeo readings, the, the, um, the link is in the description box below. The messages were just amazing, very strong. I see, I see a lot of independence here, dear Aquarius. If you need to see more in relation to the cards, I will be doing a lot more cards there, so join me there. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here, and I will be back for the second part of June um, for the rest of your readings, okay? Thank you so much. 
again. Bye for now. A final message, is, and that I forgot to mention in the first part of the video, is that I will be putting up readings for July to the end of the year. So the mid-year readings for 2018. For those of you that do not know, I do have a playlist which I will put the link in in the description box below so that you can view, so you can watch the um, first part of the six months uh, of 2018 general and love forecast. Okay, so for those of you that haven't seen it, haven't watched the videos, please go over there and watch them. If not, if you have already watched them and you've forgotten what's gone on, please go back and have a look and you'll be surprised at how the information shows up in the readings. It's just amazing. Okay, so I will be putting um, up more videos. These will be for July till the end of the year. At some point in June, so do look out for those. Thank you so much again. See you all. Bye-bye.